Hello and welcome to Retro Bikes Dublin. Today we're looking at a lovely Suzuki GS125. It's a 1989 model. So it's a classic tax at just 26 euros a year. It'll be cheap insurance as well for any first time riders looking to get into it. Of course the bike is going up as you can see from the done deal advert at a very, very low price. Um, that's really reflective of the condition and so on. Um, it's certainly not a mint bike, but mechanically it's all there and uh, running well. Usually then, front tire is in really good nick, front mud guard you'll see there's going to be marks throughout, kind of uh, dotting of this red paint. Uh, the gaiters look good though, and that front disc as well I've checked, there's no lips or anything like that on it, so it seems fairly good. Pads look good, engine area has seen some corrosion from the weather. We've checked the oil, spark plug, <clears throat> there's the exhaust, and side panels are original. Suzuki tank as you'll see we're getting closer it's hard to see in the camera but there's this kind of this bubbling uh, all over the tank uh, as well up over the top then you see continued only 18,000 kilometers on the clock onto the rear the seat is in good condition there's actually no rips or tears in it, it does have a little bit of paint marks seen on it from what looks like someone trying to paint it blue <clears throat> 1989 Rear tire looks almost new. Indicator is all working. Shocks and um, uh, the chain guard. You'll have tax until the uh, 12 uh, 20. Uh, this should now uh, qualify into the 29 euros of um, or 27 euros of tax as of next year due to it being over 30 years old and now a classic vintage bike. <clears throat> So that's the engine, little cowl, under cowl for the engine area, uh, rear drum and a front brake, or front disc brake I should say, original indicator, front headlamp, all there and ready. So that's really it for the visual analysis of the Suzuki GS125, we'll now move on to the ride along video. Okay so we're on to the final bike here which is this Suzuki GS125, that is the final bike for today of me doing videos. So we'll start off on how to start the bike. So we'll see here that the um, uh, fuel here is in the off position. We don't want it to be in the off position. You'll see that the arrow here, you'll see it here, is pointing down to the on position. I'm gonna put it into the reserve position because I don't really know how much fuel is in the bike. So next thing to do is get onto the bike turn her on you know that the neutral light is on so you're in good state now if that is not on you're in first gear second gear whatever gear next thing you're going to do is you're going to start the bike by pressing the start button this doesn't have any choke or anything doesn't need any choke even from cold it's running really nicely give it a few revs just to warm it up slightly and then indicate out onto your position right gonna get it off the main stand then I'm going to put her into first gear and I'm going to move away. Right, so we're away now, moving on this little GS125, which would make an absolutely superb little runabout for extremely, extremely cheap. Sheep, cheap. Right, so we're going to turn left here. It even has a gear position indicator. That's super cool. I'm gonna move out of the way of this guy since I'm just taking up him. So you'll see here we're in first gear. And then it tells you, look, second gear. So that's really, really helpful for beginner riders. Just to know what gear they're in. All right, coming around the corner now. Into third gear, it's quite a nippy little bike. You'll see the speedometer is in kilometers or in miles now pre predominantly but is also in kilometers an hour right so we're just getting up to now we're going to test out the, the uh, brakes on it here they are fine got to do the t turn circle really really easy as it should be on a little 125 like this and we're going to go all the way through the gears, of which I think fifth 
fifth if it is its uh, is its max. I'm gonna go back into fourth because it's a bit too fast in the fifth gear. Right, we're gonna test the brakes here because someone is in the middle of the road. Front and rear brakes, easy, easy. And dip into the corner. Handling feels fine, acceleration feels fine, bike is running, started super easy, that was from completely cold as well. She isn't the most uh, brilliant looking bike from when it comes to aesthetics, but um, bike is running well, has two keys, I mean, what more could you ask for, for the money that we're asking it? Right, we're gonna turn in left here. You even have tax for the year. I'm gonna go up a bit further. I'm going to put it into neutral, if I can find neutral. There we go. Oh yeah, it doesn't have a side stand up. Put it on the main stand here. Right, horn. <laughs> horn working. Get a look at her on the road here. Then I'm going to get a little picture of her for the thumbnail. There we go. That'll do. And now, indicators, just for the electrics. Left indicator, front and rear working. Right indicator, front and rear working. Front light now, I should turn on, I believe. Air is working. And the rear brake light is working as well, I believe. There we go. I don't know if I can put my glove up to this. There, you can see it turning on there. Lovely. Let me just turn off those lights, get on the bike, and uh, resume. Also, um, one thing you forgot when you're going to start the bike, please remember to have the kill switch in the on or run position, I should say. You should only ever use a kill switch in emergency situations anyway. But this is what is going to happen if you t touch the uh, emergency stop. Everything will stop. And no matter how much you want to press that start button, it's never going to start. Right. So that's it. We're going to get off now on the little GS125 from the 80s. And we're going to finish now. So if you have liked the video, please do leave a like. Also comment down below what you think of these GS125s. And finally, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you're looking to reach out to us on our social medias, they are at Retro Bikes Dublin for um, uh, Instagram and Facebook also. And finally, our official website is www.retrobikesdublin.com. So that's been it for this review. Thanks for watching.